welcome back. Pat Rankin there. Uh, let me say good morning to you, Cynthia. Always find a way of just putting some pep into your step every morning here on the breakfast show. We'll move straight into our newspaper review segment. We're going to run with the day stop news. I'm having in the studio one of the um, a champion, Simon, who is a member of parliament for Tatale Sanguli. Yes, and he's joined us. We're expecting Dr. Gabriel uh, Opoti to also join us, who's a member of the um, NPP constituency chairman for Yulo Proba to join us. Uh, when he does, I'll introduce him duly. But Honorable, good morning to you. Good morning. I hope you're well. I'm well. So thank you very much for your time this morning. How's your constituency doing? Ah, uh, they're doing well. Mm. Yeah, and um, I just want to say thank you. And thank you to uh, your viewers. Mm. And then also... Uh, my question is Tata Les mm. uh, I wish everybody well there. Okay. All right. Let's move on to our first item, and that's the incident that happened yesterday at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology has been closed down indefinitely following um, a violent demonstration by students uh, on the university campus in Kumasi yesterday. The Asante Regional Security Council, which took the decision at an emergency meeting with the university authorities, also imposed and that's don't care for you on the university campus with immediate effect. Speaking to the media after the emergency meeting, the Asante Regional Minister, Mr. Simon Osemensa, um, said the student had been asked to leave the campus by midday today. RESEC had, been, uh, had made security arrangements for the foreign students of the university. A demonstration by the students of KNUSD against the style <laughs> of the university administration turned violent, leading to a massive uh, destruction of public and individual properties. The demonstration was also intended to express grave concern over the use of force by the Vice Chancellor, Professor Kwesi Ubri Danso, to call them in into submission. Before the demonstration, 11 students of the University Hall, Katanga, uh, who had participated in the usual entertainment program, otherwise called Moral Session of the Hall last Friday, were allegedly brutalized and arrested by the university's internal security men and handed over to the KNUST police station where they were detained. Moral Session are uh, uh, processions of students usually on campus amid singing and dancing and are very common with all the male halls of residence. On Monday, October 17, 2018, the arrangement of the University Hall issued a circular uh, banning all forms of moral session with immediate effect and warned that any one quote who flout the directive shall receive the necessary sanction and response unquote already some of the students of katanga are happy about the decision of the university authorities to convert katanga hall and unity hall into mixed hall now uh, despite the notice of or by the authorities planning morale the students of katanga went ahead to organize the program last friday a situation that resulted we quickly go to page 40 um, quick one. A situation that resulted in a clash between the university internal security men and some of the students. Following the arrest and alleged brutalized uh, method out to some of the students of the University Hall, the Executive Council of the SLC issued a notice to all students to boycott lectures yesterday and embark on the demonstration, saying that enough is enough. The supposedly peaceful demonstration became violent when the Irish students started vandalizing public and individual properties. Um, clad in red and black attire and uh, armbands, the students moved from one point to another, vandalizing property. The initial plan was to move uh, from the judicial uh, gate of the university to uh, pres uh, to present petition to, or to present petition to the university authorities. But a peaceful demonstration generated into violent actions. The class of uh, the glass of frontage of the main administration block uh, was shattered. Flour. Uh, uh, broken, uh, that's being damaged, and uh, certain items also damaged uh, on the streets. And that's what happened yesterday at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. You have pictures of that also in the Daily Graphic. Honorable, I'm starting with you on this. Your initial thoughts about this development yesterday at KNUST? Okay. Uh, I think it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. The action by the students is unfortunate because uh, they should. Uh, have to listen to uh, the authorities of the university mm -hmm. and f uh, follow due process mm -hmm. in addressing issues of this nature. But it's a higher institution. Yes. And if you're not uh, Ghanaian alone, there are other foreign students mm -hmm. who 
read the story very well. You, I, I think uh, the student ought to have uh, uh, passed through. They have uh, student representative council. They actually led this whole thing. They led this? Yes, yes. I mean, they were. They were. Yeah, so it's unfortunate. So what, what uh, uh, has happened actually shouldn't have been violence. Mm -hmm. I think the uh, university authorities too have to be blamed. So what did they do wrong? Or if they are trying to convert, the story is telling us that they are trying to convert the Katanga Hall. Which they have actually, into a mixed hall. Oh, and they have. Yes. Uh, it used not to be. Yes. Yeah, it used not to be. So what is the problem? So if it used not to be, and then they are trying to do, uh, to convert it, then I, th I think they should find a way of doing it, not mm -hmm. just imposing certain things. So I know students are under, uh, I mean, they are governed by the rules and regulations mm -hmm. of the university. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so what should be the way forward now, at least, now the school has been shut down? Yeah, it, uh, this is, is going to affect academic work, mm -hmm. especially the academic calendar of the university. Yes. Yeah. Um, government need to intervene. How? The government need to uh, summon an emergency meeting with the university uh, that is the vice chancellor mm. and then other university mm. uh, authorities and then the university council together with the uh, minister of education and to sit up to see how they can resolve this as soon as possible to bring back students to continue academic. I wonder what's going to be a discussion because I mean they didn't see this coming starting from the earlier uh, turning of the Katanga Hall into a mixed hall, then other issues too. I mean, they should have seen this coming. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm uh, blaming the investor authorities. Mm. So if you are seeing these signs, then there's a way, because you cannot just, we are in a democratic, uh, yes. uh, I mean, uh, state or country. Mm. So you don't have to impose certain things that you feel is, is going to be uh, a problem mm. to to students such a big institution mm. a renowned institution like can so mm. it's unfortunate mm. some are suggesting that the vice chancellor should be asked to step aside is that a good call okay if 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 uh, his action and inactions are uh, not uh, the best he uh, need to be uh, step aside for investigations and then see if only is part of the problem. If it's part of the problem. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, our, our second item, the creation of new regions in uh, Ghana. It's, it's Ghanaian agenda. It is coming from the president. Uh, the president, Nana Adonankwe Kufuado, as once again is waded into the controversial uh, controversy surrounding the impending refer uh, referendum on the proposed creation of the OT region from the Volta region, stating that the call by some chiefs in the southern part of the region to be allowed to vote has no backing of the constitution in a speech read on his behalf by the Minister of Energy, uh, John Peter Mewu, at the climax of the 2018 uh, Ademovo, that second festival. The president indicated that uh, the, uh, there appeared to be a contention that the whole region had the right to vote in a referendum to decide on the creation of the region. But, quote, I am afraid neither history nor normal practice backs this argument nor supposed by our constitution. The president noted that the creation provided an important um, guide to the conduct of the and also the exercise which it takes uh, would be uh, scrupulously followed, stating unequivocally that the exercise is not an NPP or an NDC exercise. Indeed, both NDC and NPP have agreed on it and it's not an accounts versus exercise all right and this is coming from the president i've been joined uh, in the studio by dr gabriel um is it uh or the or the i put it i put it yes is the mpp constituent chairman for ourselves as Ghanaians, as that there is a government which is the mpp government that is a listening government mm. that is not the first time this has happened in this country and it may underline may not be the last time that it will happen since we are dealing with human beings but the most important thing as human beings or as a society uh, is that whenever something happens which is veered off the norm, 
how quick we are able to solve it and how well we are able to set our policies out of that that will help society in future is the question could this have been prevented maybe maybe Maybe. why do you say maybe maybe why why do you say maybe maybe because uh interested or interested parties Hmm. interested parties to this should have been maybe uh, consulted or head mm. and then certain things soon enough maybe got into this, got into this so thing. maybe okay yeah. all right but okay. we are in a human institution mm. so you should understand so you have something else to say yeah um, yeah yeah i i think uh, uh, uh the point that uh uh the my, my colleague is saying is, is is i think uh if government is the listening government mm-hmm. And then a petition it was petitioned. So that syndrome of maybe less wait, less wait, nothing will uh, not happen. We should not think of that. Mm. If the president was petitioned, definitely. Uh, he, uh, I mean, the minister of education is answerable to the president. Mm-hmm. So they should have seen all these signs and averted instead of allowing it to happen and I and now you see you are going to to solve it how are you going to solve it when the schools at uh, the school is closed down foreign students have to they have to find an arrangement for them to go and when will you resolve you should have done this so I think the government is not a listening government as he said mm. he's a listening government you should have listened to the pioneer and at least the petition that stated it and then go ahead to uh, have very distant from happening. So I don't agree with him. <laughs> he's saying he's a listening government okay. and then he, he, uh, he, he's, he's a deep process. Yeah, we are dealing with human institution mm-hmm. and, and, and these things are bound to happen. But then if they are, they are signals, signals, you're supposed to wake up. You don't have to wait until when the whole thing is in a mess then you say you are going to solve it. So if lives are lost and then properties maybe are destroyed, mm-hmm. you know how it, it costs to bring bad distance, mm-hmm. especially human life. Mm-hmm. There are people uh, who are suffering catering for their goals in investors. Mm-hmm. So if it happens that the unfortunate happens, so what will be the ramifications okay all right you have something else to say i'll just move on to our next item yeah the issue is that uh, you see we are in a complete human environment okay right nobody cried that such a bad thing should have happened to ghana Mm -hmm. but what we are saying is that there's a government that is ready to adjust itself to any eventuality Mm. are you getting it so please, we are we didn't say that uh, oh or we didn't try to even overrule or override the abilities of even the vice chancellor, right? There are processes, and they have been in government. They knew the processes, and it's the same group of people. No, it's, I don't even want to go to them. <laughs> I don't even want to go to them. But all we we will only assure Ghanaians that everything will be as the want oh, right okay. and not necessarily thinking about the ideologies or the realms of ndc no we don't want to think about ndc now we okay. want to think about Ghanaians. about Ghanaians. okay yes, about Ghanaians, not ndc let's uh let me just address some messages here then we can move on to our second item which has got to do with the creation of the new regions this one says that coastal mission on which of your constituency are proud of you keep showing okay this is coming from francis who is watching us in uh tatali this one says that good morning ghana is in big trouble if the future leaders have behaved in such an uncouth manner students of other countries are researching helping to create jobs uh, but the ghanaian students are destroying the title we have gained uh we have uh, again, the vice chancellor must stop daring students. They are not kids, and this is coming from Abbas, who is watching us in uh, offense. So this one says that good morning, and uh, drivers angry over latest hike in fuel prices. E, uh, this is serious. So, and the media is quiet, like nothing is happening. 
somebody should ask Palmia if the so-called social intervention he prides himself is yielding a desired result or what. Palmia on uh, opposition told in a position to the NDC to remove the taxes on fuel. Why are they still keeping it when they talk? Uh, they will tell you, or when you talk, they will tell you uh, it's the world market that has increased it. Anyway, this is coming from um, uh, is that blood who's watching us in the Fukuma and the Ashanti region. Farouk in Tamale says, Good morning. The crisis in KNUST didn't start today. The government must be blamed for what has happened. Uh, another message here, this one says that um, the Ashanti Regional Security Service should act as fast uh, at KNUS to help the situation it will be worse. So I'm happy that they have closed the school. Now I hope uh, better measures will be put in place. Another message here coming from Michael. Michael says that good morning. Intelligence should have been gathered long time before the unrest by the KNUS students. But as a matter of fact, what is happening? At KNUS is purely NPP and NDC politics, really, Michael. And it's public records that the Vice Chancellor. Okay. <laughs> this was tough video, Michael. We'll leave it there. Uh, when situations like this happen and we attach politics to it, it becomes difficult for us to to resolve it. Um, okay. Uh, this one says that to your panelists, KNUS case is not a political matter, so please they should stop making it so. This is coming from Kweku who is in Dan Soman. Alaj Willie P uh, says that is Nanado getting worried about the speculation that okay, we'll leave this one too there. All right. The creation of the new regions. The president is saying that it's a Ghanaian agenda. And we know we have had um, issues with it. Issues in the sense that some traditional leaders in the voter region are not happy about this whole creation. They want to be part of the voting process and all that. And uh, we have some other issues too coming from the north. Red Chief is also saying that they don't want to be part of some other areas that's going to be added on. How do we resolve this? The president again has spoken about it. Last week he talked about it with some chiefs who were coming from Keta. This week ago he has touched on it again. I'm starting with you on this talk. Okay. Uh, it's an agenda that. Uh honestly speaking, will be of more benefit to Ghana, right? In most cases, when such things are maybe being involved, uh, probably because of our blocks, us and politics, mm. or because of our blocks and perceptions, as in ethnicity, some of these things are being prevented. Mm. But the one who is carrying the vision or the leader normally knows best in quotes right we hope we hope to resolve some of these things with the chiefs especially and some key opinion leaders but oh. it will come to force or it will come to be that's we the will do it. The yes okay it will be done mm. and irrespective of the differences that not we will we, we'll resolve it mm. with them Right, we'll resolve it with them. Mm. And we are not saying we'll override them, no. Right. Because they are but I say that you do it. So but we'll do it. Mm. We'll do it. Meaning that we'll see them at the backstage, we'll work things out with them. Maybe they may not be understanding certain things. Right. What's we'll there try. to be understood? Uh <laughs> There are certain things that maybe they have to understand. What? Which may not be for the consumption of this place. Okay. Right. Yeah. He knows it. They've been in government and he knows some mm. of those things. So, honestly, we will talk with them and they will. They will accept it. As at well, moment, clearly, you've stated their resistance to it. Oh. Uh, and they have not been... And they have but, not been... But, but equally, equally... And they have not been really... Uh, they've been so vocal about it and equally, not been shy away from yes, it. Yes. Equally, you can also assess maybe their position as at today. Mm. And you realize that things may have changed. Right, and it's not everything that we can also see on set or in public. Mm. Right, but definitely it will work out. Mm. So take my words, it will work out. But and the same people, you see the same people talking. But over the weekend, I had I had Todby Todby Afedel speak about this issue, and he didn't miss his words at all. He was talking about the wrong interpretation of the constitution. Just to paraphrase him, though. Well, uh, I have not I have not been previous to such information, but I know very well that. Uh, Togbe may have been also communicating based on the interest of the people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair be it. But what we are saying is that we'll make sure we see them, 
we'll talk things out with them and it will work it will work out too so okay you're so confident the should, the yeah, yeah it will it will be it will be made perfect okay sorry. so they shouldn't worry oh, no. uh, i know i know politically you know in this country of ours yes when things are happening even just as nhis mm -hmm. right even just as napco mm -hmm. uh, people will not use or put up their maybe normal or benefit lens how you benefit from the society mm. but probably put up a parochial political lens mm. and it will not veer or it will not go to the extent that it will not be in advantage or into the benefit of our society mm -hmm. but we should get to a point and that is what NPP is trying to mm. condition Ghanaians to let's all get to a point where whenever any policy or any ideology is coming let's look at the interest of the nation first mm. before so we can we ever get to that point i mean yes it's ever? possible because sometimes it's very interesting how politicians speak when they are in opposition and how they speak when they are in government when we when were in, in government opposition. when when politicians are in government they speak trying to get everybody on board yeah when they are in opposition, that's not exactly how they speak. When we were in opposition, yes. we promised creating regions, right? Additional regions. Yes. And that is the very one we are doing. So in this case, uh, we are doing it. But you see, it is, as I said earlier, it is not all or everything or most things that we bring on board mm -hmm. as in the public. Mm -hmm. There are certain things you have to do backstage mm -hmm. so that it will pop up. Yeah. So we hope it will be done in the everybody will be happy especially our people okay normally and they <laughs> i hope they will be happy all right let me yeah, let, let, me, let me get his story yes honorable yeah i think um ndc as a party is not against the creation of a new regions but then it is the uh, interest of the people if you are going to do something and then it does not interest the people, I don't think you will go to impose it on the people. The fact is that um, I'm taking uh, Chad Pony mm -hmm. as a typical example. Um, Chad Pony, coincidence uh, your district, is under the Dagbon traditional mm -hmm. council. And uh, moving it from the one to Mount Prabhu would be a very difficult problem because it will rather become heterogeneous because uh, Yana and Skins, the Cherpone chief. Mm. So now, if they are not part of Yana and they are under another region, so how do they then, if that traditional boundary? Mm will be having a problem so the people are saying that no we will not belong to uh, the new northeast region we want to be under northern region. northern region yeah so i think the people are right and then the traditional uh, i mean uh, leaders are also of the view that they want to control their own territory so that they don't have to be away from them and then and later, if there's a problem, it becomes difficult crossing to another region. And so they are making a point. So we don't see it as something, you see, uh, my brother is trying to say that NDC is like, no, NDC is not against it. After all, when you are creating a region, uh, it's, it, it will bring the government to at least closer to the doorsteps of mm. the people. So why should we be against? But it's the people. Those that are going to create for them, they, they don't want it. But isn't it the same people who petition that they want the region to be? No, it's not the same people. Which you see, be uh, what he was saying, before you create a region, he was saying they will, they will do it, they will go ahead. I heard him saying mm. they will, uh, whether or not they will go ahead to do it. Mm. And then also, they will, they will make sure they will go back down. Now, look at this critical issue. Mm -hmm. Before you create a region, I think president, the president has set up a commission of also inquiry. Commission, yes. So the petition. Which you send your petition to yeah, the commission. The commission will look into it. Yeah. So I don't see why 
they, it's like it's a new thing to them mm. they have petitioned uh, uh, these people they have gone through those processes instead of them to go to the issue and go to the people they want to say they want to use the veto to say that whether you like it or not now what goes into the creation of a region mm -hmm. um you look at the land mass mm -hmm. you look at the population so i think even if it is of a good side of the government uh ashanti region they should, it's a big it's, it's, it's very large and it should have been a uh, uh, given it, uh, at least they should have carved a new nobody petition. Nobody petition for that. It, there was a process set in place. Yeah. Yes. So, and uh, if you're part of it, that means that you engage in that process. Yes. I. 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 I so let's not go into areas <laughs> where you know. So, so I think the people, the people, don't want to belong to that uh, region. So I don't think they should force them to be. So they should, uh, he said earlier on that the government is a listening government. Yes. So he should listen to the people. He should not impose it on the people. So Chepone, for instance, uh, last to last week, um, the the one traditional uh, council, yeah, Simon, uh chiefs and some other political leaders, we discussed that issue. And they are still saying that they will not allow uh, Cherpony yeah, to, to be part, part of, of the new, the new uh, Northeast, Northeast region. region. Mm. Yeah. So if you go ahead, you say you are a listening government, and then you go ahead to impose it. And if there is a problem, then you blame the people. That is one thing about this government. Then when they impose certain things, then they go in to blame the people. Meanwhile, the people are opposing that they don't want to be. It is for their interest. Mm. So why should you say you go ahead and do it will come on? I think what they should do is that you go and tell your people to go to Cherpone, meet with the chiefs, meet with uh, the 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 the, the one traditional council mm -hmm. then you resolve it if they are not willing then you give them i think without chelpene yeah. they, they can create a region is that, is that not it? Mm. they can create a region so why should they be uh, yearning for chelpene okay All All right. Right. i i hope quickly i, then we can I hope around. i'm not being uh, misconstrued right because what i said was we we'll make sure we meet with them right resolve our issues the petitions then, were I, th I think they presented petitions no, by meeting with them to resolve issues mm. what issues are you going to resolve is it same issues even there may be there may be issues that were not put uh, written on paper but you still have to resolve those issues mm. right and i said that we'll make sure we resolve those issues and then we go on to create the regions. That was what I said. Oh. So I am yeah, not saying yeah, yeah, override them, please. Okay. Yeah, I'm not yeah, saying yeah, I, 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 just, I just let me finish. I can just give you something. Don't worry. I'm not saying we override them. The fact that our government is a listening government shouldn't scare you. Right. <laughs> the fact that Nana Akufuado is a president shouldn't scare you. All we want to do is to make sure we settle issues with people who are not happy in court uh -huh. with the creation of new regions we we'll make sure we sit with them we settle our issues and we carry on in the interest of the nation not in the interest of ndc okay. so they can try and do whatever they want to do at backstage who we'll override this mm. who can override this and not the nation yes. or not the people okay. of ghana okay so right. so they can incite the people you know but they normally they yes that. they do it they do incite the people but as soon as we get to the scene things normalize okay right after yeah. all the people of ghana knows that it is npp that is governing ghana not ndc okay all right. Two minutes. So we can yeah, we, we, uh, I want him to know that mm. we were in power before. Yes. Not that we are yearning for. We were in power before. Mm. And what he's saying is, uh, he's saying, he's telling, he wants us to understand that um, 
the, uh, the government is a listening government yes. and people inside them. I want to ask him, what happened in the just and the limited registration as I squandered it in the area of the Chirpun? The people said they don't want it. So they don't want to belong to uh, that region. They will not register. So all of a sudden you brought in, uh, uh, I mean, so yes, to come and intimidate them to register. So is that a, a, a listening government? Okay. If uh, the people say, oh, we will not register because we will not want to be part of it, then you brought in the army. Okay. To intimidate them. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll have to uh, quickly leave it here. Uh, let me just touch on some other messages that we can wrap up. Uh, good morning, uh, Ghanaians are sick and tired of the current intolerance of the NPP region towards the democratic uh, demands of Ghanaian citizens who care to petition and dialogue civil with government for their demands. But unlike um, the NDC X uh, regime, the NPP government uh, has not uh, the stature to tolerate but to confront aggressive rather than reacting uh, towards the petition, uh, petitioning uh, citizens. Could that be a comedy of uh, disposition? Okay, I'll, I'll leave it here. Um, this is coming from Alidu, who is watching us in Daboya. Alidu, I can really make something out of what you have just said, but I just try as much as possible to edit it so that at least our viewers kind uh, of get a sense of it. This one says that um, I am a healthy and uh, hearty president. Nanado shames those whose political fortunes depend on his or health. And those people will... Okay. All right. All right. So we'll leave it here. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank and we you. wish you all the best. Thank Let's you. Let's just hope that we'll continue with our developmental projects Thank and you. put this country first. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Stay with us. I have one more interview. After that, I'll hand over to the Domani segment. I'll be right back. of Shabbat time. Sit back, relax, and enjoy non-stop quasars and worship. It's Shabbat time, happening on Friday 26th of October 2018. Venue, GTV Studio One at 6 p.m. sharp. Shabbat time is live every month on GTV Live. Shabbat time. Feel the power of praise. GTV Life, your religion and culture channel. What the devil does is that he is a master counterfeiter. If the church discovers that secret of being filled with the joy of the Lord and will sing in the midst of their challenges, and that praises begin to ascend up on high. God will begin to tap his feet. The price for you to spend eternity with God as a child of God is fully paid and guaranteed. Oasis R brings faith, healing, deliverance and direction every Sunday at 11.30 to 12 noon on GTV. Join Pastor Kingsley Apeje of Trinity Baptist Church. Trinity Baptist Church, an oasis for breakthrough. The placenta can prematurely separate from the womb. Babies actually develop their hearing by seven months in utero. While well, they are in the womb, yes. Take a cycle. It gets to stay in your child's teeth and you wonder why do Why my baby have me? yellow teeth? Some of them are very active. And then people say, this child is a very bad child. It's so naughty. But they probably have a problem. I don't think a man can prove his fertility. It's a woman who usually can't prove the fertility by carrying <laughs> Pregnant. Baby. Unless there's a DNA test. <laughs> Fruit of the womb. Watch Fruit of the womb. This and every Sunday at 6 p.m. on GT. Brought to you by Young Vita. Cousin's baby. And Camel Baby Antiseptic and endorsed by the Pediatric Society of Ghana and Ghana Registered Midwives Association.